Uh, Richard, you took your chance off the bench at the weekend. If the opportunity comes to start, how will that, will that be simply the biggest occasion for you in your rugby career so far? Uh, I think definitely, yeah. I think um, I'm not going to try and guess the team. That's up to, that's up to Jono. I just want to be a, a positive member of the team and if whatever minutes I get on the pitch, I want them to be positive ones and um, if that's off the bench or that's a start, then then great. How well do you get on with Ben and Joe and how much of a rivalry is there between the three of you? Uh, well, not really. Me and Ben went for lunch yesterday together. Um, we share the same agent, so uh, he took us out and paid for our lunch because we were both quite tight, so uh, that was uh, that was our day yesterday and uh, yeah we all get on we all get on well this tends to be with these scrum after we do all our extras together and all these sort of stuff so there's uh, plenty of banter flying between us so no we all get on well with the French you never know whether they're Scrum halves are going to pop up a fly half or not. So, uh, what are you expecting from them on Saturday? Yeah, well, they've got quality scrum halves. That's all I know. I've played uh, against both of them, and they're both uh, both brilliant scrum halves. And um, I'm sure that um, whichever one's picked will do a good job. And um, <coughs> maybe ex- we don't want to speculate too much about their team, but they might uh, put their specialist fly half back, back, which maybe make them even more dangerous. Richard, one of the, the strengths seems to be of England is, is the, the, the guys coming off the bench. You were one of those on Saturday. This business about a 22-man team is, is really coming true at the moment. Yeah, I've spoken about this all year. I think I was obviously biased because at Saracens we do use our subs quite a lot, and um, and I think it just shows that if you have belief in your in your full 22-man, 30-man squad, that um, the guys can make an impact. And it's definitely a case that I think um, I think all the subs made made a positive contribution to to the game which which you will because you're hopefully fresh you you, you hope that they back you to be a good player and, um, and these sorts of things help guys coming on playing well and, and getting the right end of the result obviously gives everyone a bit of a boost Now if, if the rumour is right you had a, a toss of a coin to decide who started for Saracens in the Premiership <laughs> final. You thought about doing the same with Ben and Jim yeah. for, the, for, the, for the match. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know if he'll agree. He doesn't have the same sort of deal at Leicester. So, um, yeah, I'll propose it to him and see what he says. How dangerous is it coming on and, and putting performance in there for 10 minutes that is right out there top notch versus, you know, being out there and getting a start and getting 60 minutes under your belt? Yeah, obviously you'd love to start, but I'm going. I only played a few minutes. I knocked the ball on once, and so it wasn't it wasn't completely top notch. But um, I was I was happy with what I did because I just the, the team got going and and we and we just got on with what we needed to do to win the game. And and these are positive. I'm not saying that that wouldn't have happened if Ben was on. I'm sure it, I'm sure it would have.